Hi folks, it's uh, it's October the 14th, Tuesday 2014. This is Carl James Lankford, my video log to all you wonderful people out there. Um, short video log really, and uh, it's basically um, one of those days um, that I I had to go and see the doctor about my, um, but basically there's a cancer gene in the family called Brachia1. And uh, Brachia1 basically is a cancer gene that um, means that, um, that it, it's women have over a 50% chance um, if they got the Brachia gene, uh, more in cases of, of getting ovarian um, or breast cancer. So 50% chance. So if you're born, um, your, your dad, um, your mum, whatever, is um, carrying the Brachia1 gene, um, you've got a 50% chance of after say 30 years or whatever of um, getting cancer of the ovarian and breast form which is quite devastating but also you've got the 50% chance of not carrying the gene and usually if you if you don't carry the gene none of your children um, looks like will will carry that gene either so all my children uh, will need to be tested um, all of them um, the females usually after 20, 20, 25 years old. The males as well need to be tested because the males carry the brachia gene, which they could pass on to their own children. Um, I carry the brachia gene uh, one, and uh, basically that means that uh, I've got a very high chance of uh, breast cancer and uh, prostate cancer. So I've got to have prostate testing from the age of 40. So I've got to start seeing, seeing a, very, a specialist very, very soon to make sure that my risks are limited and it's spotted very early. Um, I do carry the gene, so I've got a um, fairly high chance as a male of getting it, but not a 50% chance, a lot less than that. Um, so the uh, one interesting thing, I've obviously talked about lots of family issues with the doctor. I am talking about this because it's important, because um, those out there with brachia genes uh, will understand what I'm talking about. So, and some people, some of my friends want me to make sure that I monitor myself so I don't um, end up um, in an early grave. Um, so yes, so I'm going out there testing. And uh, there are many conversations with the doctor, but one thing I, I remember saying that um, I remember talking, uh, we, we talked a lot about death, to be honest, and um, and, I, and I feel as an individual that um, because I've lived with death all my life, um, I, I don't really, I'm not really bothered by it. I, I just, uh, I, I don't see it as a normal cycle. You live as long as you like because you fill your life with as much information, much good stuff as possible. Uh, you have, run a positive life and if you leave enough positivity behind then in my head the way I deal with it is that you never die okay that's your immortality that you produce something positive anyway on the other note um, I know this that was very close to some people lots of people have been affected by cancer um, I, 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 I I did a, a, one of my classes this evening and um, while I'm teaching this week for those that are interested uh, um, uh, areas looking at the archaeology in South Africa and the controversial aspects aspects of South African archaeology where sites were being found like Great Zimbabwe, Mapumwagi between South Africa and Zimbabwe and they were being seen as sites that must have been constructed by by people from the Northern Hemisphere. Now we know they were built by the Shona tribe, by a very advanced Shona tribe, a black African tribe, but very important. And uh, that's what we find out now. And also um, San artists and their art. So I'm gonna put a load of those images um, to follow after this uh, video log. So other than that, that's my video log for today. Um, thank you very much everybody watching. And uh, one thing I'm looking forward to going down to Tintagel and there's a, one of the Fogu's underground passages which I'll sure bring the images back for you all to see and in the Fogu there's lichen that is fluorescent green so I'll, I'll show it to you <coughs> when I sneeze and get back. Thank you very much. It's Carl James Langford reporting for uh, YouTube on my video log.